feel bad. Me too. I like him too, but what's done is done. So let's not get all sentimental about it, all right? I'm baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, a lot is going on with the New York Mets, who have just designated Robinson Cano for assignment. Cano, obviously, used to be a big superstar with the Yankees. Played for a while with the Mariners. The Mets picked him up. Ended up getting suspended all of last year for PEDs. And he came back this year, and he hasn't gotten off to a great start. He hasn't been completely horrific, but he hasn't been very good. And the Mets have decided, with the rosters going from 28 to 26, that they were going to go ahead and DFA Robinson Cano. A bit of a surprise due to the fact that he is owed a crap ton of money. When I say a crap ton, I'm talking about $44,703. Um, this is absolutely crazy. The Mets have gone ahead and said, we do not care about this money, we care about winning. And there does seem to be a different attitude with this Mets team, with the new front office, with the new manager on the field, with Buck Showalter, who was, by the way, suspended for last night's game after retaliating because the Mets have been getting hit by a million pitches this year. They got sick of it, retaliated. MLB decided that they went ahead and hit somebody on purpose. So from what I understand, he was suspended just for one game should be back today but um yeah everything is going insane over there in new york but as far as wins and losses that's where they are doing great this year the mets have gotten off to a solid start more than solid they're in first place 16 and 8 they've been playing good at home playing good on the road and right now they're sitting pretty in first place the rest of the division looks insane the marlins have gotten off to a good start phillies and braves down here and then the nats in last place maybe the only thing that was expected. Um, although, I mean, a lot of people expected the Mets to be in first as well. But in the middle here, I don't think anyone expected the Marlins to be in second. It's still very early. It, things are going to change. I'm sure the division won't end up this way. I predicted the Braves to win the division, then the Phillies, then the Mets, only because I'm so tired of picking the Mets to win the division, and then they disappoint and they fall apart. It seemed to happen every year, and I just, just lost faith in the Mets. But from what we've seen, they do seem to have a different attitude, and this could be different this year. I don't know if we're going to see the LOL Mets later this year or not. I don't know. Mets fans think not. Mets fans think this is their year, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. I, I don't know yet. I really don't know. They're, they're starting to build some confidence in me, and, and I, I kind of like this move, even though it's a little shocking. I don't know if I could have pulled the trigger on that move when you owe that kind of money. And, and you know, he hasn't been, like I said, he's hitting 195. That's not good, but it's not it's not 095. He has hit a home run, three RBIs, 501 OPS, but he is 39 years old. When you see these kind of numbers from a 39-year-old, you kind of figure it's not going to get much better. He's only appeared in 12 of the 23 games, six at second, five as the DH. And Billy Epler, who knows Cano from back with the Yankees, said that this decision was one of the most difficult of his entire career, that they just weren't going to have the plate appearances for him. They also optioned Yon Lopez to Syracuse, so uh, that move is is obvious move, by the way. If you're a Giants fan, the Giants went ahead and just DF, uh, D they didn't DFA anybody. They went ahead and optioned a couple of guys to the minor leagues. Not a big deal. So one of them was Jason uh, Kurzan, who made his big league debut and got his first big league hit after 10 years in the minors. Really good story, and I hope that we see him again later this year with the Giants. But just crazy what's going on here with the Mets, and it just tells you that they aren't playing around. That they are not playing around. I don't think that the old guard would have done this. They would have stuck with Cano because they owed him so much money. It tells you right there they are trying to win. The decision to jettison Cano was still a complicated one for Mets, and not only because of all the money he's owed, but because of his status as a popular veteran in the clubhouse. Always happy to share his baseball wisdom, but baseball wisdom only goes so far if you can't produce. You got a guy like Dom Smith who needs more playing time, who needs to know that the Mets are confident in him going forward, that he's the guy. Um, the Mets also still have uh, DeGrom coming off the I.L. later this year. This is a big year for the Mets, and they just don't want to waste a roster spot on someone who's not going to produce. Cano and several teammates said they were confident he would produce at the plate if given the opportunity and the writing on the wall. Star uh, shortstop Francisco Lindor said Sunday he wouldn't be happy if Cano was cut. So, yeah, you may piss off a few players with this move, but they're friends, you know, and it's just tough decisions have to be made. 
J.D. Davis said he's been around so long in this game. He's an icon here in New York, been a centerpiece of this clubhouse, been a leader. To lose him, it definitely takes a little bit of the wind out of our sails. So, yeah, I mean, on the, on the other hand, when you think about the players, you know, there, there is a downside to, to making this move. But I think you just have to, you know, let the players know we're, we're all trying to win a World Series. Guys, we're trying to win a World Series. This isn't to be mean. This isn't to cut one of your boys. This is going to cut somebody, a great leader. We know you like Cano. I like Cano, okay? We got to let him go. We got to let him go. Um, the New York Mets have seven days to trade him or release him. They're not going to trade him. Um, and they're not going to send him to the minors because I don't think he will accept that assignment. Uh, I would assume that he will go become a free agent and then maybe another team will give, give him a shot. I wouldn't be shocked if they do to pay him the league minimum. Wouldn't be shocked if, if this isn't the end. He still wants to play. Uh, he wants to continue his career. And it wouldn't shock me if he does continue his career somewhere. I don't know where. I have no idea. But some team that maybe has some injury issues might need some help with uh, someone like Cano. This is an eight-time All-Star. But that's all history right here. Career average 302, 335 bombs, 1,300 RBI in 17 season. 2,600 hits. He would be in the Hall of Fame conversation if not for some PED problems with that suspension. I don't see how the Hall of Fame puts someone like Cano in, and we already know that whole story. If Bonds, no. Clemens, no. But Cano, yes. I think that's not going to work out. But uh, still, he's had a great career. He absolutely still wants to play, and uh, we'll see what happens. But the New York Mets, what do you guys think? I mean, this is a team that is not messing around. They are trying to win a World Series. They are trying to win this division. Is this different from last year? And the year before and the year before, or is this for real? Are the Mets going to win it all this year, or at least win the division and make a deep playoff push? Let me know in the comments below. I'm still a little bit, I'm not totally convinced, but they are starting to win me over. Maybe this is different this year. Maybe. I'm not sure. For now, I'm going to stick with my predictions. I got the Braves winning the division. Braves, you better you know, kick it in gear here. Let's go. What are y'all doing? Have a great day, guys. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Giants Dodgers series starts tonight. Look for definitely a post game, maybe a pregame. Don't miss it tonight. Giants Dodgers rivalry baseball. We'll talk to you guys next time. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. And we'll see you. Control, or straight to the hole I got no chance of ever making my